Good morning, everyone, and um, welcome to one of our monthly new member Zooms. I'm Betsy Ko. I'm Zooming from Chicagoland in Illinois. And um, my co-host with me today is Hilary Gadsby, uh, who's coming from Wales um, this morning, her afternoon. Um, I've been on week, I've been doing these uh, sessions for about a year. And um, my my back, my own personal background is as a, a teacher, a music teacher. And of course, when we went into lockdown, um, all of us teachers had to learn how to uh, teach uh, remotely online. Um, so that's how I got comfortable with, with doing this sort of thing and thought that it would be um, a really nice crossover to helping people on Wikitree. Just the idea of being able to have a conversation in real time, even though Discord and messaging is is great and very uh, very instant, but there's in some ways there's nothing like being able to talk face to face and screen share and do uh, make changes in um, in real time and be sure that we're talking about the same thing. Um, it's it's called for new members, but it's. It's really for anyone who has questions. We we say new and newish members, and um, just with the goal of of helping everybody, um, you know, do what they want to do on WikiTree. Um, so my where I spend time on WikiTree is um, I'm members of the England, Wales, Scotland, and Canada projects in terms of research and geography, and I also um, am a mem mentor and help a lot with the events. So things like the Sourcethon and Wiki Wiki Games and our upcoming symposium and Wiki Tree Day. So um Hillary, I'll let you introduce yourself. Yeah. Um I've been on WikiTree since 2011. So I was here a long time. Um I'm one of the greeters. I've been uh, a greeter a lot of the time I've been on WikiTree, but there was a period when I wasn't greeting. I'm also a, a mentor and I'm a project coordinator for both the England and Wales projects. I, I um, I'm also get involved with quite a lot of the ch challenges. Um, at the moment, I'm do I'm involved with the Rock Challenge, which I know Betsy's mm -hmm. involved with as well. Um, we are working on some other members' trees, um, which is uh, quite quite interesting and exciting when you make a connection. <laughs> right. Yes. If you haven't heard about Rock, um, it's an acronym standing for Random Acts of Wiki Tree Kindness, and <laughs> this is the fourth one we've done. We did march june august and yep now october um and people get nominated and then we do a random drawing to pick five everyday wiki treeers who get uh the uh the royal wiki tree treatment by a team we have about almost 60 people working on these people's branches and trying the main goal is to try and um raise their cc7 and um, yeah, I'll be sure to, if you don't know what a CC7 is, I'm, I'll be sure to point that out on, on a profile later today. So, okay, Marilee, you, you, were, you were so patient and flexible on Thursday. I really, I wanted to say thank you again <laughs> for like allowing us to go whichever way we needed to go that night. So um, what profiles, I have your profile open. Um, what what questions do you have? Where should we look? So, um, you know, my my I um, my mother was very into genealogy, and if, you know, from way back when I was a kid. And my mother's side of the family is the English Scottish, you know, um, line. Lots of records we have you know, Mormons in our family. And so there's just a whole lot of documentation. My father, Italian, Sicilian. And so not much on that side when it comes to records. That's where I hit the dead end. So I thought, you know, there's, um, as I, um, I just also just some, some background. I almost, I, I, I tried to write down to, to focus for today. I realized we have an hour, but I think that there were just a, sort of a couple of, of, of different things. Um, I had been for 
you know, probably 25, 30 years ago, I had bought a, a copy of Family Tree Maker mm -hmm. and was little by little getting my, um, the research my mother had done uh, into Family Tree Maker. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been quite some time ago that I kind of thought this is just dead end. You know, when I die, it goes with me. <laughs> you know, it's just not going anywhere, yeah. um, you know, other than the paper records I still had. And um, I can't remember when I first heard about WikiTree, but um, I really just didn't try it until recently. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I had this idea that it was just going to be a free for all. It was open. And then I'm just so impressed by the controls, by the the efforts to to maintain the integrity of the data, and so on, uh, there's a lot of complexity. But it is just energized me to um, get these records uh, yeah. moved over. So in Family Tree Maker, I probably have 800 plus records. I have a GEDCOM, and that was like sort of the first time I went, oh, they're really quite cautious about this. It wasn't just like dump the GEDCOM in there. It's right. like one record at a time. I'm making sure everything's cool and there's not a record already out there. And mm -hmm. um, I have, of course, found um, when I, um, you know, you had this tendency to kind of like start with like, well, let's just kind of start with me and start moving in that direction. But then I went, especially on my mother's side where there was a lot of research to, um, uh, we have uh, uh, Edward Rawson was the secretary of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. I thought, well, surely he'll be in WikiTree. And of course he was. And then working from Edward Rawson forward, of course, I just found tons of matching records. So it was um, so that's that's been sort of like, OK, I, I, you know, I'm learning a lot just by going through that process. But right. then I I, um, I did try and get some of what little I had on my dad's side and my parents are both gone and um and there's there's really not a lot of of information we have, you know, the, the, before they they got to to America, mm -hmm. and so just uh you know I think that uh, my my uh, primary question was uh, whatever kind of tricks and resources um, that that help uh, find um, find the actual records. I did find one on one great grandparent that I think is good that is from a manifest from a um a ship that came into New Orleans okay and um and you see my my uh, surname my Italian surname is Gazetta yeah and, oh the other thing is just that when I realized that I was Gazetta 657 I'm like well there's 656 others <laughs> out there yes yes and you know what here's let me show um a, a quick trick that um, people may, might not know about. If you go to the home page, you locked up. I'm afraid, Betsy, I can't hear you. Has her internet just temporarily? Uh... <laughs> It may have just temporarily go, gone out for some reason. Mm -hmm. she... Just when she was ready to give us the big... <laughs> and I'm not sure what she was about to say, or otherwise I would carry on with it. <laughs> it's a really good trick, though. <laughs> that people know about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, she's gone oh, out. She's probably going to try back. Thank you, Hill. All right. And we're back after my technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. uh, so let, let me go back to share screen sharing. And we were talking about finding um, uh, others of the same surname. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the homepage, now normally we might put in something like that, a wiki tree ID, or you might put in the first and last name. But if I do just a surname, so just like that, it's going to take you to a page like this. Um, and and pay attention to these quick links up here um, because you can sort, the, uh, sort uh, the people on the list. You can see who active members are. Uh, you can, you can, let's see, genealogists. So if I do that, these are the people who you who are WikiTree members and you might want to reach out to them. 
So, um, yep. And you are the number one contributor. <laughs> well, this is. Very That's good. excellent. Um, let's see what else is handy. Um, you could see Gazetta uh, profiles that are orphaned, which means that they have no profile manager. And then in that case, supposing you see someone and you say, oh, that's my ancestor, it's an orphan profile, then- oh, I like that. Yep, then you can go and you can adopt the profile. Just click on adopt this profile and then you will become the profile manager. So. Now, I imagine that um, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, and, and as I'm just a beginner genealogist, other than, you know, what I have gleaned through my mother and through my use of family tree maker. Um, uh, but when it comes to trying to find records, actually, once you get back to Italy, mm -hmm. um, is it pretty much just going to a church and finding church records or town records or, you know, what kind no. of... Not necessarily. Um, are you, you're not a member of any of the projects, are you? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Well, let's, because uh, right, as soon as you said Italy and Sicily, I thought Italy project. Ah. Um, so let me show everybody under the find menu, you can go to projects and um, there are many kinds of projects, geographical being the most popular. Um, but not always. Um, so let's find Italy. Uh, this is a very active project. Um, and there, I'm, I know they would be very responsive. Um, so here's okay. their free space page. Okay. Uh, yep. And if you, I mean, you can look into joining the project. All you have to do is, is, um, post an answer on this G2G post. But if you're if you feel like that's too big a commitment right now, I would just post your question in G2G and tag Italy. Um, okay. Have you done anything in G2G? Not yet, but okay. I've, been, I've been trying to read the manuals and stuff and get comfortable yep. with everything. Well, it kind of like I just to, as a quick aside too is um, yeah. I have this just tendency to just be like so private I'm not even on Facebook and stuff but I love this genealogy thing I love this open thing and yes. I feel like I could probably even open up my wiki tree better than I have but I've just been like oh I've got everything you know shut down I'm feeling very private and so I need to get I need to get over that <laughs> <laughs> well at least I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that um at least to um oh I lost you let's see let me get you back and see what your privacy level is. On uh, mine, I've got it shut down to the oh yeah okay um to the the most locked level. Well, I think. No. maybe I opened it up a little. That's right. I kind of yeah, well, I think that's, that, that after a month of playing around, I went okay. I think I can open it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Red, red. That like <laughs> danger, danger. Red is yeah. the most locked down level. This I think actually is what I have. Hillary, what do you have? Um, I'm just trying to think now. Uh, let's see what have I got. I've got it so that it because you've got to, you've got to have a certain um, level of privacy for um, uh, if you've got yeah I've got I've got um, a yellow one because um, yeah. you have to have something. But if you've got if your DNA tested, you have to have something so that your DNA tests will show if if you have it too high the privacy you won't it won't show your DNA test. Gotcha. And I yeah. do have DNA so. test in there, which I, I'm sorry to jump around, but I just like also, does that automatically, since I've told it, it's like, okay, I had a DNA test done. It was done with Ancestry. Is is there anything further I need to do? Or does Wikitree automatically sort of like get that information from Ancestry? Well, you have to first, first of all, you can't upload DNA to Wikitree. Okay. I think I did read that because I... Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to upload your, you want to, first of all, go to Ancestry and you download the, the file, the file to your computer. And I've and, done that. Yep. And then you're going to upload that to GEDmatch. 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 Okay. It's just uh, all together GEDmatch. And then you will get, um, well, here I'm on my page and we can see um, here 
or it says 100% me with myself and sister DNA and my Jed match kit number is there. Gotcha. And so that's what's going to appear. And so for instance, um, then when you see matches with people, um, like this, here's my second cousin. Now these percentages are just based on the relationship theoretically second cousin should have this much DNA in common. Um, because remember in reality, it might be a little bit different mm -hmm. just based on recombination. So, um, yeah. And then, um, you know, if you have MT DNA or the men, if they do Y DNA, um, you can, you know, also upload. Now I did this through family tree DNA and I was able to just, um, give the fan, the FTDNA kit number. And that was enough. So, um, and I have, I also have, um, just at this point, while I'm really figuring it out, I'm not putting any living relatives into my profile without asking their permission. And, sure. yeah. and yeah. then, um, does it, is it to any benefit though? Like, um, if I put in my, my brother and sister to get their DNA stuff in there too does is that you know to ask them to upload theirs or I guess it's not you're saying that this Jed just putting it in the connecting it with Jed match is the is the thing to do that's the next step to do yeah yeah okay yeah <clears throat> Hillary you have any thoughts on that yeah uh, I suppose the only advantage of having siblings on on there is that obviously they might them they um, might I don't know if there's really an advantage with siblings as such. Obviously, cousins there would be because they're going to have matches with other people. Right. But, um, yeah. I mean, I've got I've got one cousin match on mine. I think um, that's somebody that I'd already knew was a cousin match before I joined WikiTree or or quite a lot some time ago. But um, yeah. It, it, it's interesting because when you are trying to look for an unusual thing, I have had um, I have had success with um, um, uh, uh, matches, a bit mm -hmm. a bit more distant matches, which is useful. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, because your your strictly speaking, your siblings should have the same parents, so they should go up the tree exactly the same as you you would. So right, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so since I mentioned, since I recommended um, posting in G2G, um, you know, and I'm not sure, you know, for some of you, this may be um, something you've done scores of times, but um, if if not, so you go to the G2G. Uh, first of all, does everybody know how to get to G2G? Let's let's take it back even a step. Um, is it okay? So under my wiki tree g2g feed so it's under those menus at the top are very very helpful then you want to go over here ask a question and then think of this as just a headline so something like um in search of my italian ancestors and then it will ask you uh, a category. The tree house is just kind of the general bulletin board, but um, you might, Marilyn, you want, might want to pick genealogy help. Um, and um, there are some links that you can check out, pre previously asked questions. Um, but if you're a question, you know, if it's very specific, like, uh, um, you know, um, Santoro one two three five. I'm looking for his marriage record in mm -hmm. whatever in Sicily. Um, <laughs> then you would ask it and be as specific as you can. And then this is the important thing: is you want to you want to tag Italy so that the people in the Italian project will uh, get an alert. Okay. You know, that someone has a question and they will get, you will get answers. I promise. Yeah. So um, now I'm going to back out of this. <laughs> um, uh Oh, how do I back out of it? I guess just, I can't cancel it. So I'm just going to leave the tab. Okay. <laughs> so um, did you want to look at a specific profile? Um, where did I, um, 
so so there's at least there's one in my Italian side that um it it, it kind of helps I think to look at it I'm I'm still working on making sure um I uh am I'm I'm working on my citations too so yeah um good so a lot of what I have on the Italian side I realize it's just nothing more than family records and I think just even right now I'm citing that until I can try and confirm stuff but you know again all the people involved are dead you know by the time I really get most active with genealogy everyone <laughs> that I could talk to is gone and um and 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 sometimes I'm not even really sure that I can rely on information too because it becomes sometimes just stories you know family lore family okay. stories uh, especially on the Italian side mm -hmm. and um and so and on my Italian side um, there is the only one that I said I found this manifest. Um, and, um, you know, I guess, I guess maybe my question is at this point on the, on the Italian side is, um, and, and I think with the Italian diaspora, you know, we're just, we're, we're the, the ones that ended up in Los Angeles. You know, there's a lot that came through New York. I think that, that they're, um, was at least I think I've made this connection of knowing that that uh, my great grandfather came through New Orleans, which was another one of the places that uh, the ship sailed, and it, and there is a, a a great I think some a pair of great grandparents that I don't know how they got here, mm -hmm. and I don't know if there's anything either that's online or maybe you've already answered it by going like well go to the Italy project and start asking questions, but mm -hmm. I don't know. well do. Do you want to give us a profile ID or should I look at your watch list or? Um, well, since you've got mine up, if you go to my, my, um, I guess I, a lot of times just go to my family tree to see the visual. Oh, um, sure. Yep. Stuff. Yep. Since there I don't have it. Well, you know what? I can't see your family tree because of your privacy level. Oh, darn. Okay. Um, and okay. so. Um, oh, wait, uh, no, I'm sorry. I took it back there. There's the button. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. So you can see on the Italian side um, that, uh, I, um, you know, I've got some uh, great, great grandparents in there. And I think that was because I had some of the records for uh, the Domenico Panalo. And so my grandma, my grandmother's side, I did have some records, but you go to um, Custodio Gazetta. I believe he's the one that came um, through New Orleans. So I don't know if I know how Domenico got here. So there are a couple of different sort of, you know, uh, don't know, but I think I had, um, you know, you can see how just for sources, I just have some Gazetta family records and need to, um, I, I did find that National Archive series. Maybe there's a better way I could have cited it, but that was where I actually found, I think that was when, you know, during a time I had a free subscription to Ancestry some years ago. Mm -hmm. um, that I found the, the manifest uh, that, that actually told me then of, of which actual vessel and when he actually got to New Orleans. Okay. Um, do you mind if I do? Well, first of all, um, let me talk about, well, there are two ways you can search for further information. Mm -hmm. um, betting that we could, we could give a citation that would be a little more helpful to other people. Um, and so one way to search is through root search, ah. uh, which is on the lower right hand of every profile. As you can see, it pre fills in everything that you have already put in. Um, and then it gives you a choice. Um, let's go to family search since there's no paywall there. Okay, now, does this look right? Yes. Yes. Let's uh let's take a look. Because I noticed you didn't have a death date. Um, right. Yeah. Oh so now I see. This is not for custodio. This is for he is named in the death record of oh, his Dion. Family. And I know that Dion is a relative. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well that that tells us that it's correct. But now let's and see. And that somebody else put Dion in there, right? Yeah. Yep. Custodio okay. has his has a family search profile. Oh, I bet that's Mike Gazetta. When I looked at the people that, that showed that they were somewhat active, Mike yeah. was the only one that was a familiar name. Okay. All right. So we have a marriage record. Nice. 
for 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 his son Anthony. Uh, that's that's my grandfather. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Dion. Okay. Uh, deaths. Did he dip? Did he maybe die in his late eighties? Yeah, I think so. Custodio. Here he is. Yeah. Father Antonio. Mother Vita. Josephine was his wife. So June 9th, 1958. Okay, ah. it looks like this is great. It has an image. And it has an image. This is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, June 9th, 1958. Oh, uh, that's good because there's also this, the, some of the research I want to do, it, said, it talks about his employment with Gazetta Grocery. And I know that uh -huh. in, Los An in Los Angeles, that, that my grandfather was a grocer. And, right, right. And uh, I've right. wanted to get more more solid information on that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, off the top of my head, I was thinking, ooh, a census or, or a city directory would help you. But this confirms it. So is it okay with you if I add this source to the profile? I would love that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back. And the nice thing about family search, um, let me go to um, go to the actual web page for the record. And now I have this nice little citation that family uh -huh. search has created for me. And so I'm going to copy it. It's now on my clipboard. Now I'm going back to Custodio and we'll edit. And we'll um, we'll do this. Uh, we have to add an asterisk that creates a bullet point. Um, and let's see what else. So I believe Haskell Avenue was on the death certificate, right? Um, well, Haskell Avenue is in Texas, and so oh, I think he yeah, died in Los Angeles. He did. Yeah, so yeah. I actually did see that he, I, that I showed Gazetta and Son as the, um, yeah, the uh, as the name of the grocer. <clears throat> so I went, to, I went, yeah. I did go to, to to Main Street in Los Angeles recently, kind of over where that grocery was, which was. <laughs> oh, that's cool love. to walk those streets. Yeah, yeah, that's very meaningful. Yeah. Uh, so let's add, now that we know, June 1958, and that's certain. And then the death place was, was just Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay. And that's certain. And then before it will al allow you to save a change, uh, whoops, where am I? Okay, it's going to ask me, what well, what did I do? And so I added a source and I also made changes from a new source because I added the death record, the death date based on the death record. Right. Which is, oh, and so even though the button, the clicking of the button shifts around, notice that I still have two things. Gotcha, okay. It puts it into the text, yep. yeah. And then full save. And there you go. Good. And and I wonder, do we have anything else helpful in his sources? Um, 10. We looked at about six, I think. There. And death index, death and burial. OK. And now, oh, the, here was the um uh, the the thing I was curious about. Maybe we were. It's right on here. Is um who the um profile manager is on this one? Oh, sure. Um, let's see. Let's go back to details. I I don't know if if um if family tree profiles always necessarily have profile managers they don't like we no, do they, yeah they, don't. they they tend to they tend to have um they just tend to have the people that have made the last ed edits on there yes. so edit so it may be somebody related it may not be 
Right, right. Because seeing as family searches through the the Mormon church, um, and I believe that they have church members who do service work through working on genealogy on the website. Okay. So, um, so yeah, I fell into that trap a few times in my early genealogy days where I, I got all excited seeing someone had made a change to an ancestor of mine. And I sent them a message and said, how are you related? Are we related? And they said, nope, I'm just a volunteer. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, anything like if I'm work, like I'm working on the rock at the moment. And so I've been building um, a family tree in maybe on family search before I've been creating uh, a profile in WikiTree. So therefore, I'm going to have my initials are gonna, or my whatever my sign in is, is going to come up on that. But that doesn't mean to say they're my relatives because I'm working on somebody else's tree. So, right, yeah. right. Yeah. So if there's no profile manager, I could adopt that profile if I wanted to, or maybe it shows me as the profile manager because I put in a record. Anyway, that's that's all real kind of. Yeah, I mean, cer certainly you are uh, his profile manager. Oh, I already am. So I got uh, it. Wiki tree, you are. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, now here's one thing, and maybe I did see this um, in that death certificate. Did it show the names of his parents? Yes, it did. Yes. Um, oh, good. Go back for a second to this. You and I think it's also important um, when you're there. That should be big enough. Okay, so Hancock Street was his last place of residence. Presence. Okay. Father Antonio Guzetta. Okay. And Vita Lanza. Okay. Now those are all, that's all really cool new information. I'm very excited. Yeah. About this. <laughs> yeah. And you could, you could use this as your source to create their profiles for Antonio. Right. right. And Vita. Yeah. May I ask a question here? Of course. Um, it feels a little cumbersome, and I'm just wondering if there's a better way of doing it. So now you, you have these parents' names, and what mm -hmm. I'm finding I'm doing is I'm having, I write all this information down, and then I go and to add a parent, mm -hmm. um, uh, it just gets complicated. So do you build out the parent on on family search first? No, no, I I really only use I myself use Family Search to access you know free records and and get the cit citations and um, and to get hints. Um, you know I I would never just blindly copy from Family Search or Ancestry or anyway where without um, searching the the records. But here's what I would do if I were if I were Marilee and and going to build out now to the parents is let's see. Okay, if you're on this page, and this is where we got the, the citation, but notice that we can click on Antonio. And now the record, which is for um, uh, Custodio's death, but it's referencing Antonio as the father. So we could copy that citation and then use that to create the profile for Antonio. Are right, you- Great tip, do you, thank you. Sure, no problem. So, and then, and then Marilee, when you want, you're ready to do Vita, you just change it to Vita. And now you'll see Vita Lanza in entry. I mean, it's a minor little thing. If you were to just use the same citation for all three, it would get the person to the right record. But it's just a nice little nuance. But you still then have to enter their um, their name and I, I put in an approximate age for the parents or marriage because the child yeah. is born after sure I mean, you still yeah. have to put all that stuff in manually or because there is a 
shortcut where you can get the bio biology information from family search and just plug it in is it the sourcer uh, uh, yeah Hillary, yeah. so ahead. if you yeah. build it out on family tree first you can just copy and paste all that stuff in to build them well i do when i i use sourcer but i use it to bring over some of the data if I've got the data in the in family search so if I've got things like a birth date and that which I've which I've checked with and I know I've got a source for then I'll put bring that over and then I'll I'll um, bring over the sources that are attached to that person provided I'm happy that all the sources that are attached are correct if I've put all those sources in then I know they are going to be correct but if somebody else has been involved with it you need to check that those sources are correct before you do that. Or you or you need to check, if you bring them over, you need to check that when they come into Wikitree that they are what you want um, and that. And a lot of that's dependent on making sure you get your um, the sources app set up right as well, which can be quite complicated if you're not, if you're not used to it, so. Yeah, and remember I said that there were two ways to uh, find other other sources for a person. One is through uh, root search under research. Now the other requires uh, the Sourcer app. So you can this is a browser extension. You can see I have this little one here. So and I have the Sourcer app installed. Now if I click on the one app at the top, it gives me options to search all a whole bunch of sites. And then, well, let's go ahead. I noticed the Custodio did have um, a find a grave site uh, citation. So let's look. Oh, Whew. that's interesting. I thought I saw one mentioned on. Um... I thought I did as well. <laughs> oh, no. Does it does it always try and do an exact match? Because I have seen his name spelled two or three different ways, like with a custodio with a U, custodio with an O, because yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I actually think that the way they have it spelled in there is the one way I have not seen it before with an Costidio. Costidio, maybe maybe that was the problem. Okay. Let's go to find a grave. Okay. And so it's always worth checking. Um, now, if the find a grave entry has a photo, then then it's much more helpful and valuable than something like this where you don't have a photo. Um, okay. And and you can see that um, he was Calvary very cemetery, which makes Calvary. sense. I think my grandparents are there too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so let let's go ahead and just as um, I'm going to go ahead and add this. So we're going to build a source citation it's instantaneous it's okay so the, you're in sourcer now right yeah yep mm -hmm. now, wow. and that's that's a let me that's a third party app or that's part of wikitree no, no it's part of wikitree um hillary would you mind putting the the yeah, link i'll i'll get the apps um yep so now if i go here Notice I'm not even going to have to add an asterisk. Boop, there it is. Ah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get rid of these BRs, just my personal preference. That's mm -hmm. just a line break. And then we can preview it. So it, it does, it does, I like it. I like how it makes the, uh, what it is pop. Um, so we've added a source. Now let's see if Calvary Cemetery has, has a category. And mm -hmm. I'll show, show you about that. So if we go here, click on that and Calvary Cemetery, East Los, um, maybe just Los Angeles, mm -hmm. Los Angeles. Okay, so what that's going to do, so now I've added a source and I've categorized. Um, now, if I go to <clears throat> his profile, um, we can see that we've got this category down here. So now 
we can see that there are 147 wiki wiki tree profiles of people that were buried there. Ah. <laughs> so this might be interesting. Up at the upper right, my connections. Now, of course, that's my connections. So I'm going to change it to you. Oops, 657, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it will show you, look, oh, you're, you know, your your ancestors here. And then um nobody else closer, but um, you know, sometimes this can provide um some helpful clues. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Um any I do want to protect time time for um uh two other questions we had, but do do you have other questions, Marilee? I I think that I um I, this has just been so great that there's a part of me that thinks like, oh my gosh, I've got so many fun things I want to do. So yeah. if I had let me look at my notes real quick to see if I had anything else and then um we can move on. Um no, I think that that that's I I um I've already again Thursday and today I've already learned so much I just feel like each time I go in I I keep learning and learning so this is great again I just have to just say how impressed I am with WikiTree and with the people who also get involved and I just love that you're doing this just yeah. love it oh great oh um Cindy thank you for coming um all right and I'm glad that was helpful. Um, Marilee, this this is by the way, um, this is my profile ID. And if something comes up after after the fact, you know, just send me a message, and and I'll um, see if I can help. Um, so um, who? Let me stop screen sharing for a second. Um, Dave, you're you're showing up as Dave Stents, but. Oh, I'm you're... really Linda. Linda, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, Linda, yeah. you had some general questions about sourcing, and I I saw your follow up comment in the chat. Um, do you, has this been helpful? Do you want to ask more? It's been helpful. Um, I don't know if you'd want to look at one of mine. Um, sure. <clears throat> let me find his ID real quick. Uh, he's Stents, so it's S T E N T Z. Mm -hmm. Dash 85. Okay. 85. Okay. Does that look right? Yes. Yes. Okay. German, 19th century. Okay. Oh, it looks like you're already using Sorcer. Well, not all of that is mine. Oh, uh, I see. I see. And as Hillary was corresponding back with me, um, mm -hmm. I, I believe this might be the one where the person had entered a bunch of stuff and then I accidentally somehow or another wiped out a bunch. And I have no idea how I did that. Mm -hmm. But um, I know just looking through this, he does have two other children. Um, I believe I have a fine. Let me see. I use Family Tree Maker, Family Search, My Heritage, so it, that's why this is frustrating. That it's like, oh, why is this so hard for me? Um, mm. Actually, yeah. I've got yeah. I've got a link for Cincinnati Catholic Cemetery Society um, as far as his burial. Mm -hmm. um, there is, I've got a link for alien arrival and i just do not know that that's him i see uh, that this would be a place for a research note okay. so research notes I, i'm just i'm not going to do anything but i'm just going to go into edit mode so people mm -hmm. can um you've got these headings with the two equal signs on either side so there's biography and you've got your sources and just here's my psa never delete this and just leave that in there. I think that may be what I did. <laughs> mm -mm. 
<laughs> and so if you work with, well, I, if it's okay with you, I'm just going to add the research notes and then you can add to them. Sure. Um, so then research notes go in between uh, the, the bio and the sources. So just research notes, exactly the same way. Okay. And now when we, uh, and I'll say, uh, I didn't really do anything substantial. I guess it's a, a formatting thing. And now it's ready for you to add um, why, you know, your thoughts about that um, alien entry document, okay. why you think it might be him, why it might not be him. And um, then I would also recommend that you, um, so after you enter that text and you're still in edit mode, Mm -hmm. Put in four tildes. That's the little squiggly line. I put it in the chat. Okay. Yeah. And that will create a signature. It will it will say, um, you know, your WikiTree ID number um, created this note on October 8th, 2023. So that people know, I mean, if it's a very clear cut fact, you don't need to do that. But if it's your theory, you might want to take ownership of it by sort of signing it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't, do you want to do a little bit of research on him and see? He is uh, one of my definite brick walls. I can't figure out how he really got across the pond. The document that I have, there were only six people on this boat and I know coming across the ocean, that's just impossible. <laughs> Yeah, that does seem a little off. So um, let's see what we can find. Okay. Um, so how you you think, well, let's see if he's on family search. We'll close a few of these other tabs to this is James, that Barbara's question. Barbara, I have not forgotten you. That's that's okay. We may not have time today. Um okay. So do any of these look, what was his name? Well, we believe it was Anton. Anton. Uh, or that's what it was in the United States. Whether or not it's really Anthony, we don't know. Mm -hmm. um, we have a uh, burial record here in Cincinnati who we found a Joseph Stentz or Jacob Stentz. And his death record says that Anton was his father. Mm -hmm. Um but his death record says Matthai Stentz was his father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Anton did not marry till he came to the United States that we know of, but we are wondering if his wife died in Germany and he brought mm -hmm. Joseph with him, but we just don't know. So here's a father and a son, both named Anton. Stentz. Oh dear. I want to get back. I want to be able to look at your profile while we're comparing these. Stents 85. <clears throat> Born 1833. And so here's a birth on 18 in 1834. And do you does this record already? Let's see, what do we already have? No. Father is unknown. Right. Don't know anything about his family other what before he came. <clears throat> I see he served in the Civil War. Okay. Well, he registered. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Well, let's okay. So if I I think this looks very intriguing. I from anything I found, he was from the Alsace Lorraine area. Mm-hmm. So I don't know enough about this particular record to tell. Yeah. Do you have Sorcer, Linda? Um, no, I don't know how to put that on. Oh, okay. Well, the help page that Hillary put in the chat. Yes. Um, just go to that and it will walk you through from, from the very first thing, like, how do I get it? Okay. <laughs> how do I get Sorcerer? And then how do I use it? And then um, let me, uh, there's also, so the Sorcerer, 
was developed by um, Rob Pavey. And Rob does an excellent video. Pavey. With... And so okay. let's drop that in the chat as well. Okay. I highly recommend watching that video. Okay, that'll be great. Yeah. Um, okay, how do I find you all again? Hang on. <laughs> Okay. That okay, that's great. Yeah, video. I've already clicked on those and saved them, so. Okay, and now if I start Oops. sharing again. Okay. Um, now if I go back. Right, well, I, I perhaps um, we won't take time to actually go through the, the document and, and find him, but um, yeah, it sounds like there's some confusion going on with names and some could be middle names um you know could be the same person or or not um yeah so you you're you're wise to do to do careful right. to be cautious yeah both me and my husband the great grandfathers are definite people we can't figure out how they got here mm -hmm. i said they must be illegal aliens because we can't find them um I've been to Salt Lake City. Uh -huh. I've been to National Archives, and it's like just nothing is coming to oh. play here. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll check this one out, though. Okay. It seems interesting. Okay. Sure. Um, and Barbara, let's look at. Um, I've got a few minutes left. Um, James Bartlett, too. And the question was about the source. Uh, I've I've added some um, the information that you see, and I'm not sure if that's the correct way to do it. Okay, um, can I can I go in and tweak a little bit? Can can I edit a little? Yes, bit? please. Okay, all right. So um, let's see. Okay, good. You left, so we can we can make all of this look. A lot tidier just by adding the bullet points that'll create the asterisks. Uh, the asterisks that will create the. So, so you just put asterisks yeah, in asterisk. front of your citation? Yes. And now look, I'm previewing it. And now it already looks like much more tidy. Right? Yes, it does. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, sure. And these are all family search links. So these all look good. So your question is about the first one? Uh, yes, because yesterday I I tried to see what's on page 130 of that publication, and I couldn't access that publication. Yeah. Um, hmm. Washington County. Washington County Historical Center. All right, let's see what happens if we do this. Washington. Um, Washington County is a very is very popular. Well, all right, something's coming up. Is it Maryland? No, it's it's uh, Ohio. Ohio. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So it sounds like this organization has a journal. Maybe this is a book, Washington County, Ohio. Uh, yes, it is. And and um, I I I know that there is that publication, but. When I tried to look at it uh -huh. from, from that citation, I couldn't access it. And and um, well, yes, here Google Google has it, um, but okay, uh, uh, is it accessible? Yeah. It's not on Google Books. 
Um, it might be on Internet Archive. I mean, there are a couple of these. Google Books. No. So I guess it's a really a two part question. One is you would like to be able to see page 130 yourself, right? I, I'd like yep. to, uh, yep. uh, yes. Yes. Uh, and, the and, idea I, yeah. I, I think is that if you have a citation, you should be able to look at it and mm. I can access that. And I wonder if yeah. there's something I don't know about how to find that. I did, um, I did look for it just like you just did. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, and and I looked in uh, books, family search. Uh, I couldn't find uh, that particular publication. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it isn't there. I'm just saying that I I didn't find it. Mm -hmm. Um. So what <laughs> my next step, if I were you, would be to give them a call. Um, or send an email and explain um, that you're you're looking for this publication. Um, I'm sure they have copies. And would someone kindly scan page 130 for you? That's what I would do. <laughs> um, and Hillary, do you have any other ideas? Um, uh, because I'm assuming this website is just their their front page i don't know if they've got anything else behind the their front page for that that um society that might where you might be able to uh it depends where their online resources are you know we might have a <laughs> you might find they've actually got a yeah yeah doesn't look like they have the book on no. there uh, sometimes it's just finding it isn't it finding it then it, it may not actually be online or it might do you know, <laughs> right, that per, right. yeah that person yeah. may have accessed it at, at the at, at the actual you know uh the societies but, yes um, yeah. And, yeah and then then what you could do is you can um create a i mean the, the citation it gives you what you need to know as it is swear yeah. Um, it, it could be a, a little, a little more robust. You could include public publisher date and publisher and date of publication. Um, and, um, what I'll do is I'll, but it, it's fine as it is. Um, it's not clear what the, what exactly that citation is telling you either. You know, um, it's, it's not linked to a particular piece in the biography. So it's difficult to know what, what exactly that page would have told you so well, that was my question what mm. does that page tell us mm. Mm -hmm. yeah because strictly yeah. speaking in a citation you should have enough so that it links to a particular um thing in the biography so that you know that 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 that's what, what where you got that information from so mm -hmm. That's why we you, that's why we prefer in what we call inline citations rather than putting the citations at the bottom. But for new people, it's often easier to just put the citations at, at the bottom until they get used to knowing how to do the inline citations. So um, what I put in the chat is a link to a free space page that I have developed over time of just um, useful things to remember with wiki code and it has some things on how to uh, how to cite a newspaper article how to cite a book how to you know um so um and it's just my version that i think there are many of us who have a similar cheat sheet um so please please uh make use of it if it's helpful for you if, if and would you remind me how how i saved the chat uh, let's see. How do we save the chat? Probably under no chat. Um, it's usually those three little things at the bottom. I know, but I'm not seeing that. You see, for me, it saves it automatically. I'm mm -hmm. looking at the three little dots over at the right, and I I thought, oh wait, I got it. No, 
so there, I can see I can see the three little dots and then it says save chat above it. So uh, I've I've clicked on the three little dots, but it doesn't say save chat. Oh <laughs> but we're host and co-host uh, it's uh, maybe. maybe. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Sign in view stop. Maybe because I have captions on. Show chat previews. No. Um, Mine also says save chat when I click on the three dots. So okay, but you don't see that, Barbara? No, I don't. And I've 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 clicked on it before <laughs> I asked the question because I thought that would work. And, well, and now my question is because I have. Uh, captions on uh -huh. does, does that affect it well barbara what i mean i i know that i will get it uh get the chat saved because it always does it for me and i can send it to you in a message uh, thank you because yeah. i'm clicking on the three dots because i thought that's yeah. what you did but yeah. I've tried that and it hasn't worked so yeah. I, I thought well i must have forgotten mm -hmm. Yeah. You are looking at the three dots in the chat and not on the screen, aren't you? <laughs> the three so, dots um, oh, at the bottom. You yeah, have a whole that's, screen. That's what I've clicked on and, oh, and yeah. it's not working for me. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have a workaround. Okay. okay. Um, one, one other we're we're over time. Uh, I I don't want to delay you. I had I had one other question, but um, I'll save it for another time. Okay, or feel free to send me a well. I, I'll we'll be connected when I send you the chat, and then you can send me your question. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I I think we will wrap it up now. I'm gonna let me uh. Uh, don't go anywhere. I'm just going to stop the recording. Um, and I'll say before I, before I uh, stop recording to thank all of you for coming. Um, and to say, we will not have new member sessions in November due to WikiTree, the WikiTree symposium and uh, WikiTree day, which is running from Thursday, November 2nd to Sunday, November 5th. Um, I am going to have a session on Wikitree Day, which is on the 5th, um, which is go going to be for the brand hot off the press Wikitree member and like getting set up with all, you know, the basics so that you can navigate, you know, more easily things like G2G and your profile and filing, following tags, that sort of thing. So uh, I'd love to see some of you there for that. And it'll be mm -hmm available on replay too. And, and then we'll be back as scheduled normally in December. Would you send me the information about when, when that session is for the really new people? Yes. Yeah. And then also, um, I will put this in the chat. Thank um, you. Yeah. Um, where's the chat? There we go. Um, this is sort of our clearinghouse page, the new member Q&A via Zoom uh, free space page. So um, I try and keep that really up to date and it'll take you to the latest G2G link, the YouTube recordings when they become available, um, you know, sort of a one-stop thing. So thank you. Um, sure. And I will also thank you very much to everyone who's watching afterwards. So um, we'll sign off now and stop the recording. Thanks very much. Thanks.